what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another weekly vlog so happy to have you guys join in and tune in and every week i appreciate you guys so much i appreciate the likes the comments and the love so i definitely wanted to like sit down with you guys for the beginning of this vlog kind of like slow down and like chat because i feel like we don't really do that anymore i'm always going somewhere events to hang out with friends something is always going on so i just wanted to take a moment and just relax and be still and chat with you guys so in regards to what's going on today today's a busy day for me i have a lot of campaigns to work on um actually two that are due this week one due next week but i have two campaigns to work on i'm thinking of like working on them today and then just having the rest of the week to myself just you know work on one work on the other tomorrow or just bang it out um i like to just stuff my schedule especially on days when i'm feeling good because when i feel like this i can get just get way more work done but also i do want to go into the city i do want to go get my nails done i do get my nails done in soho because the nail salon i really like is there so i just go there to do my nails um i just need a fill but not really it's not urgent i'm just annoying like whenever i start to see a gap i want my nails done immediately because the more this gap grows out the more irritated i become if that makes any sense i also have a love you unboxing to do so i feel like i want my nails to look nice because you know when you're unboxing things like your fingers and your nails are just all up in the camera like it has to look good so i want to do that and then i also want to make dinner i've been eating out literally you guys for the past week and my body feels terrible guys groceries are so groceries are so expensive and i feel like a lot of it just goes to waste because i just made one and i don't cook every day so i literally just bought groceries yesterday and i literally just bought what i needed for one meal and still it was like 70 dollars granted i had to get like little other things too like i had to re-up on garlic powder black pepper pepper flakes and the meal i, I want to make is like a what do you call it like a creamy chicken like creamy spinach chicken dish i've never made it before so we're gonna be exploring that recipe together because i've never had that before nor even made it so it, that should be interesting okay but what are we doing today let's make a list so we stay on task because i can already feel myself getting crazy to do a list oops list <laughs> Okay, let's start the, the bullet board thingy. First off, what we need to do is make, why is it in caps? Oh, make coffee. Two, shoot campaign for Tress. Tresemme. I'm also gonna put in parentheses, three, one IG carousel carousel post which is three images um beauty shot shot product shot and hair shot a pear slash watermelon I have both of those fruits I can eat either one I am intermittent fasting kind of, so I don't I, I don't eat anything until like 12, but I'm assuming that it might take me like two hours to shoot this campaign and it's 10.14 now, as you guys can probably tell. So yeah, eat a, eat a pear or a watermelon. Soleil Nail Salon. I'm gonna do a fill and just gel color. I would call for an appointment, but they're pretty good at like accommodating walking walk-ins, so I'm just, just gonna do that. Um, go to, I want to go to the Loewe store because I'm looking at a bag from them. I already bought one designer bag, but I'm redoing my designer collection, so I'm buying a lot more designer bags in a shorter time span than I usually would because I want to just redo my collection to a more classic style. I want to be this Octavia again, you know what I mean? Like the clean, crisp, classic look. Um... I've had my fun. I've had my fun. 
So now we're gonna come back to her. We're gonna just come back to her. We're gonna clean up the look a little bit, just be more polished and yeah. Any, anyways, let's go back to, go to the Loewe store. I'm looking at the hobo, is it the hobo or like the shoulder bag? I think it's very stunning, so I wanna go check that out. And yeah, head, head home and cook, really. So that should be the list for today. Really quick, you guys, I just unboxed a few things from a newer brand, a brand that I'm very familiar with, but I've never like gotten or bought anything from them before, but I've always heard great things. Um, so L'Occitane. Um, it's so it's fun. It's so funny. Like when I first discovered this brand, I used to pronounce this La Octane. <laughs> so the products that they sent over first off is this shower oil. Um, it's cleansing and softening. Um, so on contact with water, this transforms into like a sheer milky lotion that gently cleanses the body. And it's just enriched with like almond oil, a bunch of different stuff. Just keep your skin moisturized. I really want to smell it for some reason. Oh wow. That is very delicate and like flowery, but. Oh wow. It almost smells like a almond flour biscuit. It smells amazing. Like I could like drink this. Oh wow, I can't wait to have like a really nice like self-care night. I really need it. Okay, next up we have this supple skin oil and I'm loving the supple oil based things because winter is coming guys and ashiness, ashy, me. Me and the word ashy, if you look up ashy in the dictionary, like my name is probably there. It's crazy. Anyways, this is a soothing and beautifying skin oil. I like the sound of that. Um, I guess I can put this on my skin now because it's for... The thing about the smell of these products, you guys, they smell so delicate. And I'm very sensitive to smells. And it literally smells like... Like if somebody, if someone were to be around me wearing this, I will cuddle the crap out of them. That's what it smells like. Like products you would use on like a baby. Yes, you know how babies, like when you just beard them and they put a little pot up on them and a little oil and you just wanna just squeeze the crap out of them? That's what it smells like. Wow. I'm actually like really impressed. Like, I feel like I'm going in like a trance. That's how good it smells. And I was expecting it to smell like that, funny enough. I knew it was gonna be, it was gonna smell that great. Okay. Okay. So this is a product that I feel like they just launched because I know about this product. It's a flower that is basically called like the immortal flower. They've somehow put that ingredient into the cream to just help your skin just look supple and vibrant for years to come. And this next one is a serum. And this one is so, inch this is so fascinating. Like there's little bubbles in there. Hopefully my camera shows it to you. Can you guys see that? There's like a little bubbles in here. Okay, this has a very gentle smell. And finally, they just sent a hand cream. Um, this was probably a product that I was most excited to try out um, because I, I have heard that their hand cream is the one. Um, so it's a very large tube, but I'm still gonna carry it in my purses, in my purse. Um, but yeah, let's try this out. Let's see what kind of formula we're working with. Oh, nice. It's my favorite formula for hand cream. It's not the one that's too thick where you feel like you're going to like, you know, like your, your hands won't feel sticky. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And this also has a very gentle smell, which I really, really like. But I will say the shower oil and the supple skin oil are my favorite scents. Like, those smell amazing. Okay, yeah. That's the plan, guys. That's the plan. All right, let's get to the day. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We are on a roll today, you guys, on a roll. I just finished my campaign, which was the first one. I shot it out here. They did request like uh, the campaign be shot in the bathroom, but I just feel like my bathroom has very poor lighting, so I really just try to like shoot in this little corner so it's like not evident that I'm in my kitchen, you know, cause, cause we are. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started on um, cleaning up the apartment a little bit. Whenever I film, I make the biggest mess, you guys. I just always just leave stuff all over the place. And I do wanna still run to Soho, so I'm gonna just get started on like cleaning up the kitchen first off and just getting this area clean so I can like come home to a really nice clean apartment. I'm gonna prop you guys up here. Yeah, whenever I film, I literally just make the biggest mess. So I like to clean up after everything I shoot, like every campaign, so I'm not left with big old mess to clean up at the end, which always happens, believe it or not. I with this cleaning product it's the mrs. Mayer's clean day lemon verbena scent I literally love the way how it makes like your home smell it's like very citrusy it just smells like you just literally squeeze some limes all over your place that's what it smells it smells like and I constantly just use it to kind of like touch up my counters and clean up these little areas because Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of like work area spaces in here. So my kitchen counter kind of like acts as a, a space for other things other than food. So I just like to sanitize this area as much as I possibly can. And I've been using my Santal 26 candle for like my scent of the apartment. Can you guys see that? Yeah, Santal 26. I'm almost out though. I might pick up another one in Soho. Now let's talk on my work desk. This goes up top here. Okay. These are all the stuff that I unboxed earlier from L'Occitane. I'm just gonna put these in my bathroom. Um, the shower oil, I'm sorry, the body oil, the shower oil. These things are all gonna go in like my cap, my medicine cabinet, so. The hand cream I'm gonna keep out here because I wanna put it in my purse. Oh, this to go in my bathroom also. Um, this tabletop gets so messy, it's such a pain. The robe is out here, I need to put this away. And I love that my chairs, like these things, can like fit directly under my work desk. So it makes, it's perfect for this area. I'm basically just moving you guys from surface to surface as I clean the entire apartment. My living room is just pretty much the same. I feel like you guys did see what my living room was like before. It's the same way, nothing really changed. And I got this big poof from CB2. Um, because I don't have any, like I don't have the kind of couches that have like a chase, a chise, the thing that you put your foot on, I don't have one of those couches, so I bought this so I'm able to like, you know, relax. So my poof is here. 
and that just kind of like hangs out wherever. And then this little table is like my temporary like coffee table. <laughs> but I'm gonna put like a coffee table here. I'm not really sure if I wanna get like a, the one I'm looking at is like really small and round and it's like a concrete type of material. And um, I think it will be perfect in here. Cause I don't really have, I don't know. I feel like I don't want a coffee table, but then I do like, I sit over here and I start to like chill and hang out. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had a coffee table. Or I might just even get like a size coffee table like this with this kind of height. Because all I need is something to just put my juice on, you know, like a water and relax. I'm gonna put on a pair of loafers. These loafers are from Tory Burch. Is it Tory Burch? Yeah, they're super old. They're so old. I'm gonna wear this out today. Um, this looks pretty standard. And I'm just gonna put on my Merrick tote bag. This is the bag that I've been wearing. And I'm actually just gonna wear my new Celine Sunnies. I feel like I wanna take these babies out for a spin today. Okay. We are all dressed, you guys. I'm just gonna run out to the city really quickly, go get a, a fill, and um, hurry back to like edit and you know, like chillax and get my workday started because I'm literally playing hooky at this present moment. Like, I have work to do. Stop in Chilueve to check out the bag that I was eyeing. Now I'm walking to the nail salon, the one that I usually go to. They couldn't accommodate me. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> they do not take walk-ins. They require an appointment now. They've just been super nice and like have been taking me the past few times, but today they are booked up. But I'm coming to this one that I've been to before called A6 Nails. So let's see if they can take me.
am back from the city and um, I got a package from Zara Home. Sorry, my lips are so dry. So yeah, I have been loving Zara Home. I've been getting like all my little decor pieces from there, like the little fin finishing touches that I need. Um, so like, for example, this, like I got like this vase from there. I did get the dried olive branches though from my Etsy seller. And I also have some more on the way because I love it. But um, yeah, Zara Home, I've been loving Zara Home. I got a bunch of little trinkets from there. My bedding, my side tables are also from there. Um, they just, just still have a coffee table that I really like. Um, the vase that I just showed you, I ordered a larger one, but it came broken. So customer service sent me my replacement. But I feel like with Zara Home, it's like when you call the customer service, it's like a guy with an accent or a lady. Just so it sounds like very elegant there and classy. I miss Octavia. Like, I'm so, I apologize for the inconvenience of your order. Using the same shipping partner they use to deliver your clothes. No, I know for a fact the shipping agent you're using is not like a UPS or a FedEx all the time. They use this different carrier that I can't really think of. I'm literally drawing a blank. But whatever that carrier is, it's not like a FedEx or a UPS. It's like where they just hire like anyone to come deliver stuff. Similar to like an Instacart or something of that nature. It's like regular people. I will like order something and I get a notification saying your order has been shipped, right? All four items is in your package. But then I go to my doorman and I only have two pieces from said order. And now I can't find the other two pieces. Nobody knows. It's because whoever is delivering is like, you know what, McKeon, but I bring everything right now. I'm going to only bring two. Or them left it in the van. That's what it's. That's what's going on. And everything always comes broken for me. Um, I'm just hoping that this isn't broken because I'm going to be irritated. But this is the other vase that I got. And it is huge. Hello, hello. This is going to be like a statement piece. And I did want to put these in here. But they might be too short. Yeah, I have a larger one coming. I ordered another one from the Etsy seller. Like a jumbo size, well, jumbo length. So it'll be longer and can fit in here perfectly. Hi, Andrea. My name is Octavia. I'm calling to inquire about an order that I placed. It shows as delivered, but I'm missing a piece from the order. So I did not receive my narrow recycled wood bench. Okay. Great. So we can, we can get it then. All right, sounds good. Okay, so she's saying that on her end, it shows that my order was was delivered in three separate boxes. On my end, it shows me one tracking number, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Anyways, that's that. I'm gonna get started on doing some work right now and then I'm gonna pr probably get started on dinner in a couple hours, but just have to get some work done. I just went to do my nails. I didn't really find anything in Loewe that I really, well, I found the bag I wanted. They just didn't have the color I like. Um, but I might go with that um, camel color, that tan color. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me go get some work done. All right, I'm all done with work now, and I got it done a lot quicker than I anticipated, so I'm just gonna tackle a little project. Project my, like, entry, like my coat closet has been acting like a storage for many things because I just moved in and I wanted to just, just get a lot of things out of my way. But now that, you know, I kinda have more organization going on, I kinda wanna make this closet look a lot neater, neater. Um, yeah, just like or um, organize things a little bit better. Um, cause there's just so much like this is what I've been kind of treating as like my linen closet for bedding, and um, obviously my coats are in here. You guys know this shelving unit, I've had it pretty much in my apartment, in my old place. Um, I'm thinking of putting that in here. I feel like this would be a better surface for like linens and at least I'll be able to like really see what I have in here. I'm just worried about, I think it fits. 
it'll fit because oh wait <gasps> is it not fitting wait 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 okay thank goodness it fits so first order of business is to swap out the hangers which i am happy to do because i'm running out of hangers in my in my own closet and it's because i had to use some of my hangers actually no but these ones these are the hangers that i use in my personal closet and i buy the little cheap ones for the coat closet i'm just gonna swap these out all right Just swapping out the hangers so it can look all uniformed. I also need to go through these coats because I don't wear them all. And I need to like get rid of a few. This is my bummy coat, the one that I wear at home, you know, if anything. So this coat rarely ever, I don't think it's ever like gone outside. But it's from IMGA Final Coat. That, this coat smells like Baccarat 540, which is like my winter scent. <laughs> they all still smell like it. Okay, so here we have all of my coats, all with the thing, all in order. I do have one more coat that, not, that doesn't have a hanger, the right hanger, but it's fine. I just leave that for now. These can just be, these are from my European shams. I need new ones, but you can buy them. I need to do that more neatly, but for now, just act like it's neat. <laughs> um, these are my sheets. So these are like fitted sheets. And um, for shoes, I'm just gonna pile my shoes down here. All right, guys, I'm just here on my apartment complex, like little chat room group chat here. Um, someone's selling this beautiful like side table. Can you guys see it? Someone is selling this for $35, so I told him I want it, so he's gonna come drop it off. It's like a perfect like wooden um, type of thing here. Maybe use it to replace this table that I've been using with the black legs, which isn't really giving, you know what I mean? So I might just use it to replace that. I think it looks so pretty, and I'm so excited. So he's gonna come drop it off in a few. Um, I love the group chat for that, and um, He's charged me 35, so I think I have cash somewhere. And then also in the home chef's like chat room, I asked if anyone had a white onion because I don't have any onion for my dinner that I want to cook tonight. So I'm gonna run down to I don't know where her name is, pick up an onion. Um, I told them I would like be happy to sell, you know, whatever. I know grocery is expensive, but she said it's not necessary. So I'm about to run down and grab this onion for her. I think she says she's in. Okay, 11. Okay, I'm gonna run down to her apartment and get the onion really quickly and then hopefully side table guy doesn't come when I'm gone, but let me just run down and get it. But here's the table. It's like a little like wooden table thingy.
All right, it is now Wednesday at 8.26 p.m. UPS just delivered my new iPhone. I got the iPhone 14 in the silver shade. So now I'm just going to be setting up the iPhone. Hopefully this does not give me any problems, but I always love to watch these kind of videos. I find them to be very satisfying. So let's get into it. Come on. My current iPhone is gold, um, which I really, really love, and it's also cracked. But I decided to trade this into Apple. And then here's the new guy. So I went with a silver iPhone because I felt like, I don't know, it just looked really crispy and, you know, it looked really, really nice. So silver iPhone it is. Oh, let me take a photo. Great. While that's activating, let's get our new cases out the packaging. So I have this like mid color, which I just really thought was pretty. So that's why I got it. Um, I was going to get another yellow case because I love my yellow phone case. I love my yellow phone case. Oh, this is actually not really a mint shade. It's actually more of a peri... Actually, no, it's not a periwinkle. Ooh, this is very dark and plummy. It looks almost black, but it's very pretty. Okay, so we got these two. We've got the... What are these things? Oh, anyways. So these are the two phone cases I got. I grabbed. This is kind of like a berry color. Um, I think it'll look really, really nice with like most of my outfits because it's so dark. And then we have like this color also, um, which is very pretty. So, yeah. So today's Thursday, it's raining outside. And one thing I had on my mind was chicken foot soup. I need some chicken foot soup. Now the ingredients, the process, everything is pretty much the same. The only thing is we're using chicken foot and it does take quite a long time to cook well not really a long time maybe an hour but yeah you just have to boil this on its own for like an hour before like adding in all your other ingredients okay so for the dumpling we have flour in this bowl with some salt and some water so basically you're just gonna like mix the dough you can obviously use your hand but i like to use a spoon for the beginning stages and then once it's together for the most part i will then go in and like knead it and this is why I like to just use a spoon at first because it really just helps minimize the mess and then we're gonna go in and kind of like knead the flour so your flour is gonna look something like this and when it's time to make my dumplings I will obviously show you how I make the dumplings Hey guys, so today's Friday. I don't know if I saw you guys yesterday or not, but today's Friday and I'm heading out to the city. We're going to be going to the Palen store in Manhattan. They recently opened a location there and I'm so excited because you know I love Palen and the fact that they have a store literally home base, I'm going. Um, so I DM them and they've invited me to the store to pick out some new bags and I'm so excited. Um, I am dressed though, let me show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit, I'm just wearing this sculpt knit dress from Aritzia. 
and I'm just wearing an Aritzia blazer on top also. And I'm just wearing these boots from a company called Shut with my new Loewe hobo bag. But I'm thinking like, should I just wear, I feel like this is just looking very like, um, I feel like because they are inviting me to give me some new bags, it's probably best that I wear their bag. I'm gonna just rush out right, right now. Wearing my Eden Rock fragrance by Christian Dior. Hey guys, sorry for this crooked angle, but I just got home from New York and I am just so hungry. I've been um, trying not to buy food out lately and just eat whatever I have at home because I've been just spending so much money on groceries lately. I refuse, like I actually literally refuse to let anything go to waste, like absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm just gonna dive into this large container of watermelon I have. Mm-hmm. Also, my phone died. Of course, what's new? But it died when I was only like, I don't know, like two minutes away, so it's not too bad. And there's so much traffic to come home, like, la god. So yeah, um, I'm feeling a lot better now. I don't feel like I'm gonna just drop the landed. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna, um, what did I do today? I basically went to the Polen store as I told you guys I was going to do. I didn't bring my vlog camera because I brought, I had this like little bag. But now I'm home and I have some packages. So this is the company here. We have a little IMAX Lash Vibes. A little baggie. Wait, who sent this to me? Anyways, this is what I got in the package. Lash luggage, longer, fuller, healthier looking lashes. I am very interested in trying this out. So this is a waterproof conditioning peptide mascara. I got two new branches or um, what do you call them here? Like stalks. <laughs> I got two new bunches of olive plants. This one is gonna go in the bigger vase or vase that I showed you guys before. Okay, so basically I have the rubber band on still, so I'm gonna take off the rubber band. Okay. And I was thinking of putting this one over here but I feel like also, it's, I'm, it's just overkill at this point. It's just way too much, way too, too much. So I'm just going to remove this. I'm making a dirty chai this morning, so I'm going in with my Bianca Leggero Double Espresso. This is my espresso cup. Just gonna put this here. Actually, let me adjust this. Okay. Alright, now we have the coffee with the espresso. I'm just gonna pour this. <gasps> wow, that literally barely got in the cup. <sighs> I'm not even gonna scream. I'm not even gonna do it because I knew that was not gonna work out well. Then I'm gonna go in with my Tazo 
what is this the classic chai tea get that a little shake and pour her right on over and just pour her in I usually use oat milk, but I don't have any, so we're using almond today. I'm gonna just add a little bit of almond milk. And I've been adding some nutmeg as of lately because it just gives me that like illusion that I'm having a pumpkin spice latte. Because it's really what it is, just sugar and some spices. So let me get to editing and planning my week. I think I have a ton of events to go to. And I'm gonna start bringing you guys to events also. I've been using my bigger camera because my small camera, the, the screen is broken again and um, Best Buy has it and is fixing it. So I think it should be ready by this week also. So we're gonna be able to go outside more. It's just impossible to bring this giant camera anywhere. So that's why we were like home based, but um, we'll work on getting you guys out because I know you guys need some fresh air, okay? So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Love you, bye.